Hello, great people, African traveler again. Today is a wonderful day. I'm in central Kenya in a place called Makoyo. And the road behind me is what I'm here to discuss with you guys about. And we're going to feature this road, show you guys the current state of the road, the current construction progress, as well as the benefit that the road holds for this region. Kenol Marua Road is an 84 kilometer road. Construction of the road started in 2020. We've been here before and we are here to show you guys the current update of the road where it is right now and what are the blockers as well as the benefit so for those who are watching this for the first time Kenon Marua road is an 84 kilometer road that basically connect Kenol all the way to people living in Nairobi heading to all the way to Nyeri all the way to Isiolo all the way to Meru so this is one of the main artery of the roads in Kenya as well as Africa and in Africa we mean that one of the main sponsors and uh, funding of this road project which the initial budget was about 16.7 billion Kenya shilling and uh, with the current rate of Kenya shilling fluctuating uh, due to inflation probably the amounts may change is the African Development Bank and their main aim is to connect this road all the way to Ethiopia most of the part to Ethiopia has been done and this will play a vital role role in opening Africa because this is part of Great North Road in Africa that leads all the way from Cairo in Egypt all the way to Cape Town in South Africa. So this road for those who think it's only about probably the region that is currently affected no the main purpose of this road that is why one of the main sponsors of this project was African Development Bank is to open and connect Africa in regards to business. One of the main thing uh, and uh, goal of Africa is to ensure that the biggest part of our business we are trading in between ourselves. The road has really progressed versus the last time we did an update on this road project. We can see some major changes, but still the progress speed is not as initially been anticipated. So let's show you guys and I hope you guys will enjoy. So there's so much to see as we explore the progress, the current state of the road and what is left. If we are able to get some of the residents from this area to give us a view, it would be amazing and to get to see how they've been impacted. So as we are also curious to see what is the current progress. So all the way from Kennel to here is done. Stick with us and let's see how is the current progress. Stick with us. So guys, you can see the pineapple on the horizon. Del Monte pineapples. Actually, they are they the right, huh? They are ready for harvest. Yeah. Oh. Ready for your next Del Monte can. Yeah? The sliced. Do you guys like the sliced, the chopped? The one I'm getting here. Right? Oh, diced. Watch out! Watch out! We're coming to you, my friend. Again, so but the most. Uh, Del Monte's sliced, diced pineapple, most of it comes from Kenya and in a place called Thika, where we are right now. Let's see, it's a, there's super huge farms, super, super huge uh, chunk of land. But yes, uh, they are said to be in Thika, but on this side is in Moranga County, really. And uh, right now, as I said, we're heading to Kenon Marua Road to show you guys the progress. Uh, we were there the other day and we saw it was fit to show you guys the amazing, tremendous progress the road has so far. Uh, yeah, I hope we'll be able to do the full stretch for you guys so that you guys get a glimpse. The road is still not fully complete. And that's why, yes, we're going to explore. But it's amazing, uh, especially on the turn I took, uh, 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 on the most part that I drove, especially from Kenol all the way to Makutano. Yes, before I took the turn to Meru. So stick around and you guys are gonna be amazing. So the street lights are still not up yet. Kennel is really growing very fast.
Guys, you can see the gas station growth continues. A little continues. And on the other side, you have Shell. So, rubies and Shell in total are really growing rapidly in, Europe, in Kenya, right? So the three main corporates. Makoyo, guys, we're in Makoyo right now. You can see, this is. This is some. This, is, this looks like a place that we grow very fast as a marketplace, um, as a market, as a local market where people get groceries, fresh food. Itakuwa gedorai. happening with gas petrol station in Kenya right now like everybody is on top of it guys please let us know what is what is this what is it is there a gold mine no this is a Trees and fruit here being sold. Just look at this. Wow. Strawberry, apple manga, pomegranate, pomegranate, has. So, by the easy, like you do this. Well, so grafting. Grafting. Here. No, we don't do the grafting. You do it, you, you do it where? Okay, to Tunazi Edianga Tunazi Edianga on a farm. Mm. He was once our customer. Yeah. And, uh, for the first time. Yeah. Then, I'm going to farm food. Yeah. So, I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the So, is it around? Is it this place? It's in Mungedo. So, the part of the house is in Mungedo. Where? It's in the Oh, in the company? Yeah, okay, we can buy the fruits and the best and uh, the sweetest. Yes. So and why, why is it? Because of the sun and the, as long as we pay a margin? Uh, I guess it's because sometimes, for me, I guess it's because of the sweat and the dry meat. Yeah. 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 In, in, in terms of accidents, we can accident smoke. Uh, only for the care is mm. <laughs> Because... Uh, because this is a corner. Uh, it, okay, it's may reduce because yeah. we make a bumps. Also, oh, the problem. bumps has uh, help eh? yeah. to reduce the accident. Yeah, that's an idea. But for the careless ones, uh. we put that as that. So the careless one, is it the drivers or the people? The driver, because uh, sometimes, okay, if you look at there, mm. sometimes they don't know if they don't see the... The bump? Yeah, but you put the the overspeed. Mm. So you put like... It's either in the in the left side, you know, to a pick up a shy gongwa. Yeah, yeah. But for you guys, so far you're still okay. Yeah, for us we're still. Okay. Amazing. Mungazi di kuachunga. 
So um, in Kenya right now, Isaidioku, which fruit is is getting popular in terms of kupanda? Uh, it is a uh, pixie. Okay, there are few. Na zato ni sana na picha. Picha. Pixie, yeah. pixie mina juwa, but na ingine apa hivi ata wajuni ni. Ah, so guys, actually, so Indian number you know? Yeah. So guys, if you want the number is here. Are you Kamau? Who pick you up? Pick Kamau. Your number. Yeah, one is a pick you Kamau. Eh. Yeah. So Kamau, I'm an Ani. I'm a pick you Lucy. One is a pick you up here. What's up your number? Zero seven forty two. Yeah. Seventy three sixty five forty seven. Thank you guys. Reach out to Lucy if you want. Can I find a delivery across country? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Even uh, outside because we even there's a time to go to Metuma, Uganda. Really? Yeah, we had. We had a passenger, so we need to take care. Yeah. Amazing. now guys as you can see all this section is fully completed there's a small town here a center and one more thing about this place is uh it usually divides central and uh the cumberland so this side is cumberland and this side is mount kenya or the Kikuyu land. It's like a boundary. So let's head to Sagana and show you the progress of the bridge. I hope a uh, lot it has been done already. So guys, there are a lot of mango trees here. You will see them. This place produces some of the most sweetest mango. And Kenyans say during mango harvest season, if you don't have a camber friend, you're struggling. <laughs> and those charcoal still has meat, they keep them on the road. And everything you see being sold on the road, they actually never. As it ah, they are always left on the road throughout, night and day, and you can't touch them. How come? Eh? How come? Uh, I think people are not thieves, and also if you try to be a thief, you will face it. You will face the wrath of the Kamba region. <laughs> uh, like, just look at that scenery, guys. Isn't it beautiful? This is just amazing. Pictures and the barriers in the median lane looks like neck brings a very nice aesthetics to the road, but they can be dangerous as well and can be protective at the same time. In some countries, they've been adapting to barriers that are a bit more rubber like. That uh, and uh, they've been proven to save lives. So ahead of us is uh, we're heading to Sagana River, very famous river, and one of the most famous place for rafting in Kenya. If you like water rafting, just check Sagana and bungee and bungee jumping. There's a nice resort around this area. There are a number of resorts around this area that will give you some some of the best amazing scenery and experience for you to do team building, rafting, bungee jumping. So if you are of such activity, go to Sagana. Check them in Sagana. They say Sagana. If you want to do the adventures towards the Sagana getaways, you you have to go to that front. Towards that side. 
But if you are on your way to Ethiopia, you stick to the main road. So as you can see, as much as uh, the marking of the road is still not done, but there's a huge difference versus the previous time. And this is the place to buy charcoal. So this is the Sagana Bridge, the famous Sagana Bridge. And one of the main thing, or surprising thing about Kenya is the fact that where you have dry areas where most char most charcoal come from. So it's something that is very strange. I don't know why. You know what? Charcoal mostly come from dry areas in Kenya. <laughs> so it's very strange. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Cumberland produces some of the highest volume of charcoal, Masailand. But those are the dry areas. So if I try to give you some drone shots of this area, you can see the main one side of the bridge is done, the other, the other side is still under construction. So Kazi Badu, Kazi Ipo.
Ghana, all this side is not marked. Past Makutano, uh, to where we are right now, I can see Riandira police station. The road is done, we are all using one side of the road, but it's not marked. The other side looks like, uh, it seems like the, the old road. Uh, maybe. I might, oh, no, it's, it's still, a, still uh, it's a dual road. Eh? It's supposed to be the oncoming. Yes. It's supposed to be the oncoming, they just haven't finished and opened it. Ah. So guys, the other bit about this road is the fact that uh, there was a court case, uh, especially around Kakuzi area, where you have some very nice video of the trees and the road fully done and uh, they, they had been taken to court because of uh, land encroachment and at some point African Development Bank had stopped sponsorship of the road so uh, yeah it was quickly uh, sold and uh, the land was bought and the road was uh, given a uh, green light to continue so I hope that was not the main reason for the delay so yeah, so from what I see is uh, the bridge normally takes very long to construct but for the rest of the part so far to where we are right now shouldn't take more than two months if it's uh, basically if it's to do with the marking of the road the drainage I'm sure it's already natural by itself so I don't expect a lot of work on the drainage but still you have the electrical poles the barriers to be done but other than that yeah the oncoming road should be at some point let free amazing what is this town <laughs> but yeah, we are gonna have signage. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of missing signages. Yeah, but it's still much better than it was before, yeah. by far. I think I've seen a number of factories opening up, uh, so, but the smaller centers, apart from the few ones, we don't see a lot of construction. But a town like Kennel, hey, Kennel is just on another, like it's on steroids. There's a huge construction boom within the town. And yeah, Kennel, if I'm not wrong, at some point would seem bigger than Moranga itself, the county headquarter. Even though Moranga is well structured, well organized, Moranga just seemed like a puzzling city that needs a lot of structural planning as well. I hope that is not a petrol station. Sagana River as well as we have a town called Sagana where you saw some major fish pond and Sagana is really known to produce some of the highest uh, volume of fish ponds uh, fish from the ponds are uh, actually dry fish dry land fishing dry land or artificial uh, it's okay. so Sagana is actually the mother of all the fish pond fishing or fish pond farming in Kenya so uh, this is one of the main area that uh, supplies fish to the rest of the country uh, by fish farming through fish pond so it's amazing and it also really looks really nice in terms of structure it's flat and it's one of those areas if well planned can you know in time can come up to be a very well nice 
developed town or city in future and I hope such initiatives are, are in progress before we have those you know makeshift towns yep so as you can see some so on this other side uh, the dual carriage is actually yet to be fully open to be open it's still using one side of the road but the other side is basically done Guessing probably up to Marua is the same case, and the marking of the road is still far from it. Uh, I can see some uh, what do you call it? Drainage system is still in, the, in the progress. In some areas, in some sections, but still you need a lot of uh, street lights and uh, ba barriers of the, uh, within the road. I don't know if we'll have more footpath. So great people, we come to the end of our day today. So we are in Moana right now. What I've seen from this road project is the fact that um, from Marua to a place called Madaidi, uh, as you come, as you head towards Nairobi, major part of this section is already done, uh, but still, we are still missing a lot of marking on the road, you can see. Drainage systems, as well as the street lights and the barriers. So what I can say is the, the, develop, the progress of the road is amazing and uh, I really applaud the current government for expediting on this project. Uh, you know, every other change of government uh, usually have a lot of delays in terms of the previous progress uh, initiated by the previous government. But yes, good, uh, good thing is um, amazing progress. Still, I didn't really see uh, the oomph, you know, for pushing a project to completion but it's much better than what I expected as you could see uh, the area is really opening up in some towns you can see uh, you can already you can already feel this you know anticipating the growth of this major town so we are looking forward to seeing hopefully before the end of the year 2023 the full stretch uh, fully open, fully launched to, you know, the drivers, the commuters, the business people, from, uh, businessmen and women from this area. So thank you guys. So please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And you can also share with us what other areas you'd like us to showcase other major projects that are going. I've been, to, I've been around and I've uh, been really surprised with how so many of the current road prog uh, projects in, in and outside Nairobi how they're being uh, there's a lot of renovation uh, with the current government what I can t say is I see a lot of uh, renovation to the existing roads uh, that are there in Nairobi and it's amazing uh, just to see the initiative done uh, in maintaining such roads because you know uh, the minute you sleep it requires you a lot of money to redo the whole projects again so stick around guys we're gonna be showing you more and more road project road construction in the city and you can also please tell us which other major projects you'd like to see thank you